We're at Occoquan Bay National Wildlife Refuge. It's a former Army military site that's been transformed into a safe place for people and animals. Our small part of this project is helping to build a path, a walking path. We have on this site a L25 electric wheel loader, and we have an ECR25 compact excavator, electric also. It's a beautiful chance to highlight the importance of protecting these areas, of preserving these areas for future generations. This refuge just got a new visitor center and administrative building, and so as part of that, this is a trail that is leading to Turtle Pond. This trail will offer opportunities for visitors to come and explore the nature around them. It's exciting, right? It's exciting to come out. It's an opportunity to provide our public these really special places. It's a place for wildlife and for people to thrive. The trail is done by the Fish and Wildlife Service, and this is a group of people that come from different refuges, and they come together to put together projects like this trail. We have a very nice crew from the Fish and Wildlife Services. They have been tremendous, uh, knowledgeable, uh, experienced with running a lot of other equipment. Uh, this particular trail was just uh, nothing but uh, a field about a week and a half ago. Cleared the brush, they dug down 10 inches, and they came in with three different lifts of material. And uh, once they get everything smoothed out and uh, compacted down, they will be complete with their job. We should be sensitive about our management practices on these public lands as well. And so anything we can do to reduce the amount of carbon going into the atmosphere, then we should do. Uh, we have a solar charger here, which is the uh, same unit used to charge electric cars on the uh, uh, parking slots. You know, exploring electric equipment, it gives us the opportunity to provide feedback to the manufacturers. So it, environmental care has always been a core value at Volvo, so it's something that's in our DNA. We're very concerned with the environment and leaving a healthy environment and a sustainable environment and footprint for generations to come. This is the first step in Volvo's journey towards more sustainable footprints. We've set out targets that all our compact equipment by 2025 will have an electric variant. And by 2030, we expect 35% of our machines to be electrically driven. And so we are very much about conservation and wildlife conservation. National Wildlife Refugees are established for a specific purpose. It's a wildlife purpose. We should be as sustainable in our practices as we possibly can. And so that's what we're looking to do.